What is cracking, guys? Aaron here, Curls in the Rack, back again. Oops. And I apologize for my appearance right off the bat. I just got done hitting a workout, and so I'm a little sweaty, a little grimy. I smell all right. But it was just arms day, so I have a little bit of gas in the tank to do a video. Today's video is for everybody that wanted to build a belt squat and uh, sort of my take on it. Um, it's going to be a little bit different, and there was some sort of uh, 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 wait time on it just because I didn't have it quite right and I think I figured out how to do it. We're gonna build it using the slinger setup but you don't necessarily have to have the slinger setup. You could have sort of any kind of pull down machine that then has a lower roller uh, attached to it. So anyways, let's just get right to it. So building a belt squat is not really a new concept. Uh, tons of people have built them uh, you can use cable machines, you can use um, the trolley arms, all sorts of different ways to build a belt squat. But the one thing that I think is missing from it is being able to start in the extended position, much like you would a regular squat if you're under a barbell. You don't want to be starting you know, down here and then have to work your way up. You want to sort of go down into the squat and then spring back up. So that was why it took a little bit longer to kind of come up with and wrap my brain around how I'm going to complete that. And so I'll go ahead and show it to you right now, and then I'll go through the ins and the outs of uh, what I use to do it. It's not really that much stuff. Okay, so first of all, what I use to uh, make the platform is just plates. You know, I'm a big fan of utilizing stuff that you already have in your gym. If you have plates, use the plates. If you have some jerk boxes, use the jerk boxes. If you want to build a platform, build a platform. I just had these. They're easy to set up. They're easy to throw away. Throw away. Put away. I'm not throwing them away. Uh, when I'm done with them. So that's what I did. You need the uh, slinger or some sort of lower pulley. You need an upright. And what I'm using is the uh, uh, just a 3x3 three three upright uh, rogue one. And then you're going to need the, uh, the top part of the slinger. And then you're going to need the plate baits that is for the weight stack version of the slinger. Okay guys, so first let's go over the belt that I used, or rather I didn't use. So this is the dip belt that I have. Uh, dip belt, they can also be used uh, for a belt squat. But unfortunately this one right here, once you get it all cinched up, has these large pieces of metal that you can see here. And those really dug into my hip flexors when I was at the bottom of the movement. So it made it very uncomfortable. And so this belt was out. Now, it's not to say that there aren't other dip belts that you can use. I know Spud Inc. makes one, but it's like a hundred bucks that's actually for belt squats or any other one that just has the chain that goes through and then loops back and then attaches probably would be better for this and more comfortable. But I don't have one of those. So what I had, went ahead and did was I used my deadlift belt deadlift belt it's going to be strong enough it's just pulling on the uh you know the handle here the handle the belt loop the belt loop here and what i did was i just took a carabiner and the spud ink pull down attachment and it also has a ring on the end here okay so that's the belt okay so besides some sort of makeshift platform that allows you have a gap in the middle so that the lower portion of the slinger is here there's also one more modification i had to make to the lower pulley you can't uh, use the cable that comes with it because it's too long. You would be sort of, you'd be right up here and that was a bit too long. Now, in a previous video, I'm not sure which one it is yet, but I'll link it up there. I show you guys how to make some of these cables by going to your local hardware store and getting these loops, ties, cutting the cable to length, and then you can figure out exactly what you want. So I had this one and um, it just needed to be a tiny bit longer so I attached a piece of chain on here and then I could attach to the top part of the slinger. The rest of the setup is just the slinger that goes over the top, the plate loaded base where you can put your plates and the base or I guess the shelf for the plate loaded base. So you'll notice that you're gonna have to load the plates a little higher on here. You'd normally have the plate loaded uh, base sitting right about here and then you could do your pull down movements but with this we want to start at the top and so this is why um, this is so high up here let me go ahead and show you exactly how it works and the piece that I think is most important for this all right guys so the way it works is pretty simple I'm able to come over here clip in with my belt 
I'm still able to stand up. I don't have to finagle my way up onto the weights, which is the best part. I stand up on the weights. I'm fully extended. The weights are off the base a tiny bit. And the way it works is you pull this pin, you slide this guy to the bottom, it's out of your way, you do your movements. And then on your last rep, you just grab it, slide it back up, and pop the pin in. You can step down, you can unlatch. Now, let's say just in case, you're up here and you throw that down, you get your reps in. Oh, maybe I can get one more rep. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get more than one more rep. I can't go down, I can't grab that. Well, then you got your oh crap pin right here. Put this guy in and then you can safely get out. Not ideal, but in a pinch, you don't wanna be stuck at the bottom of the movement and get hurt. Okay, so let's go over what I did to make this. So I wanted to come up with something that would allow this piece to slide up and down the upright like a trolley, but it doesn't have a backing on it. I can't really attach a backing. So what I did is I took one of those bands that you would use to put around your knees to force your knees out on a squat. I put that around it with a carabiner clip on the front here. Then I took this that has a bunch of holes where you can loop carabiners through that came with the slinger looped a carabiner through and did this. And so then you got a little bit of a handle here, which, which is the best way with stuff I had laying around here to make this solution. And it slides up and down the rack really well. It doesn't come off. You can drop it at the bottom, pull it back up because there's a lot of tension on this guy and it's, it's pretty smooth. So you can always take this idea and find what you have and come up with something else. But now you have sort of a concept to go off of. Also guys, please don't think that it's set in stone that you have to have this folding slinger build that I have over here. This will work just fine if you have the rack mounted slinger and the lower pulley on your rack. The same concept holds true. There's no reason it wouldn't work over on your rack as well. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully that even just this piece I think is, uh, is, is a cool idea and uh, maybe I'll think about it incorporate this into some other stuff in the future. The video that's coming up next is going to be part two of the hip thruster bench. Um, everybody reached out in the comments section. If you, they had one, they were telling me what they used it for and then also uh, were asking, could it be used for this? So I went ahead and tested it out and we'll do a part two to that. And also, I wanted to sort of do something a little bit special at the end, special. I want to do something that I enjoy. I enjoy comedy, music, and fitness. Those are my, my three loves. And so what I thought, even though I'm not very funny, what I thought uh, I would do was uh, do my workout song of the week, either new stuff or old stuff. Uh, and please, in the comment section, let me know what you're listening to. But uh, the song of the week, the track of the week, is Yellow Wolf's new song, Bounce. So uh, put that on your playlist. And until next time, peace.